Hello, I'm Helen Bradley and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're going to look at creating a pattern of uneven diagonal stripes in Photoshop. Now I already have a video which is linked in the description below and it shows you how to create diagonal stripes that are even. But here today we're going to look at uneven stripes. So we're going to start with a new document. It's going to be 40 pixels by 40 pixels in size. Just a small document to work with on our pattern. So I've got one already set up here. 40 pixels by 40 pixels. I'll click create. Now I'm going to zoom in so that I can see this more clearly. And I'm going to add a new layer by clicking here on the new layer icon. I have black as my foreground color. I'm going to the line tool. We're going to set this to pixels. There's three options here, shape, path and pixels. We're going to use pixels and we're going to create one line and I'm going to make this the thick line. So I'm going to make it about 10 pixels in weight and for this line because it's the first line that's going across the middle of the document it needs to be an even number of pixels. So I'm just going to start in the bottom corner I'm going to start drawing and as I do I'm going to add the shift key. The shift key is important because that constrains everything to a 45 degree angle. When I let go of this I've got a line across my document. Now we're going to start with exactly the same thing that we did in the previous video. So we're going to make a duplicate of this layer and then we're going to apply our offset filter to it and we do that by choosing filter other offset now with the offset filter what we have to do is to put in here in the horizontal and vertical areas a value that is half the dimensions of our document. Now we created a document that's 40 pixels by 40 pixels so the horizontal and vertical are now 20 and 20. That's just half of 40. So I'm just going to select that and click OK. And that creates a pattern that would create even stripes across a document. But we want uneven stripes. But we still have to do this step. We can't skip this step at this stage. But what we're going to do is put a new layer in here and we're going to create the uneven stripe. So we're looking at the moment as this is going to be our thick stripe and it's evenly spaced across the document. Well, we're going to add a thin stripe. So I'm going back to the line tool. My thin stripe is going to be just three pixels wide. So I'm going to type three in there. I'm going to hover outside the side of this document and I'm going to draw a line. I'm going to hold the shift key as I do to constrain it to 45 degrees. Nothing different here to what we were doing before except we're not starting down here. We don't have to have an even number of pixels in our line weight. And we want to put our line somewhere in the middle here. Now I'm creating a thinner line. I could put it sort of in the middle or I could put it closer to one side of the line. It doesn't really matter. It's what I'm looking for. So I actually want it to be a bit closer to this line. So I'm going to have a thick line and then a thin line and then a big gap and the next thick line. So I'm going to hold the shift key and just draw this out. And I need to make sure that I'm coming from one side of the document to the other. I think I haven't started this early enough, so I'm just going to undo that with Control-Alt-Z, Command-Option-Z on the Mac. And I'm going to try again, making sure I'm starting well outside the side of this document. And if you need to do that, you're just going to resize the window to make sure that you can see plenty of space around your document. Okay, so this looks good to me. I've got a shape here that's starting well off the edge of the document and ending up well off the edge. So I'm going to let go the mouse button and this has created our line. So our line's going to be thick line, small gap, thin line, big gap. But so far we've only got one of these lines and we need a second one. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a duplicate of this layer. And then we're going to apply that same offset filter to it. So we'll choose filter, other, offset. And we're going to apply exactly the same settings. The settings should be already in the dialog. If you've used the offset filter on this document once before, then it's going to be preset for you. So we'll click OK. So this is where our second line needs to be. But as you can see, it's not big enough. It's way, way too small. So we've got a solution for it. We know where it needs to be. We just don't have the right line right now. 
So I'm going to click here to add a new layer to this document and I'm going to go back and create my three pixel line on this new layer because that means I can move it. And I'm going to place it right over the top of this black line because it's going to mean that I'm going to get the longest possible line through my document and I need a long piece of three pixel line. So I've just turned the others off so let's go and get our line tool. We're on three pixels of line weight so that's exactly the same weight as we've got here and we've got a brand new layer. So I'm going to start down here, hold the shift key and just draw across the document. And that's given me a nice big line. I just don't need it where it is right now, but provided I've got a really long piece of line to work with, I can now go to the move tool and with this top layer selected, I'm going to move this line into position and it needs to sit immediately over the piece that we created a few minutes ago which gave us a idea as to where the positioning of this line needed to be. So it's now in position, now I can get rid of this one because I don't need it any longer, I've only used it as a positioning device. So let's trash that layer because we don't need it anymore. And let's go back and get the layers that we previously had hidden. So this is going to be our pattern piece. It's just an extension of the concept of creating a even set of diagonal lines. It's just a little bit more fiddly, but it's pretty easy once you get an idea as to what you're doing. So before I do this, I'm going to the crop tool. I'm just going to make sure that I crop right over this 40 pixel by 40 pixel area. I'm just going to remove everything outside that area. It's pretty important because you've got bits that are, may have been outside the area and if they're there, they're going to really mess up your pattern. So I'm going to turn off the background because I'd like to be able to put a colour behind my stripes. I want to have a transparent background. So we're ready to create our pattern with Control or Command A to select everything and we'll choose Edit and then Define Pattern. And I'm going to call this Stripes uneven and I'll click OK. Now let's go and create a new document for this. I'm going to create a document that is just the size of my screen here or roughly the size of my screen because I'm working on a Mac today. To add our pattern to this document we're going to choose layer, new fill layer and we'll choose pattern. I'll click OK. Now the very last pattern in the patterns palette, which is the pattern that we've just made, is now applied to the document. So we could scale it up or down if we wish. I'm just going to click OK. And now let's look at this pattern and you'll find that we've got a perfect pattern of uneven stripes. So you can create patterns of uneven stripes yourself. You're just going to go and do the basic even stripe design that we created in the previous video and which we've recreated here. Then you're going to put down one of your uneven stripes and then apply the filter to a duplicate of it to get an idea as to where the second stripe needs to be and then you can just go and make your second stripe position it in position and you're ready to go. This is a little more complex but I think that once you get the basic idea you should be good to go. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give us a thumbs up, click to subscribe and click the notification bell and we'll let you know when new videos are released. Until next time, I'm Helen Bradley. Thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel.